Greetings. Before we start the anime recap, I just want to clarify that the anime studio stated that every characters in this anime are over 18 and they are adult. So, YouTube staff, don't just assume everything just because your mind is messed up. Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about a wholesome cultural anime. If you like vanilla, slice of life, and romance, then you should watch this anime. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friends. By the way, this recap is about episode 1 first, then episode 2 will come later, so are them. One day, the female main character, Akane, just found a place to move in. The landlord is an old lady, and she seems quite nice. After introducing herself to the landlady, she is going to her room, which is room 101. <laughs> When she entered her room, she is surprised because there are more stuff than she expected. She did not know that she has packed that much stuff. However, she does not think much about it. In the meantime, there is a guy who is going to move into the place too. For unknown reason, his room number is also 101. <laughs> Since the landlady is already old, she seems to forgotten about this crucial issue. Well, it is a canon event after all, so there is no point remembering about it. When he opened the door, he saw her changing in the room. Both of them are very shocked to see each other. Fortunately, she does not cancel him for that. On the other hand, he also knew that he cannot cancel her because she is a woman in 2023. In addition, he might be considered as the intruder instead. So, if you guys ever face this situation in real life, just identify yourself as a woman. It will work like a charm. Please sub to my channel for more 2023 survival tips like this. <coughs> <coughs> Well, moving on, it seems like the landlady has messed up, and there is a mistake in the contract. She apologized to both of them for her blunder. Since there is no empty room now, she requested them to share the room for a week. Akane agrees to share the room, and that guy also agrees too. Well, I guess he is not afraid of being cancelled after all, since he can just identify himself as a woman. Anyways, when they are in the room together, he introduces himself as Ken. He wants to shake her hand, although it is very risky to do that now. She refused to shake his hand and slap it instead. Despite that, he does not scold her for being rude. Anyhow, she couldn't believe that she is living together with a dull old man like him. No, that's a lot of damage! He wants to know why is she living alone in such a small room. She told him that she is a strong and independent woman in 2023. After all of that crap, she actually wants to cook some food for them. <laughs> At night time, he realized that she does not have her own bed. I guess sleeping is not an option for her. Since he is a gentleman, he is willing to let her sleep in his bed while he is going to sleep in the living room. She feels bad for him, so she is willing to share the bed with him. However, she will cancel him and call the FBI if he lay his hand on her. He told her that he has no interest in someone like her. In addition, he knew that he is going to get canceled for life, so her dungeon is not worth the risk. Anyways, both of them went to bed. As expected, she couldn't sleep because she is too nervous. Suddenly, she heard some royalty-free audio from next door. It seems like they are playing an intense sport in the middle of the night. It feels good to know that at least there are someone who is into fitness that much. I bet the woman is going to rejuvenate herself with some fresh organic protein shake at the end of their exercise. During all of that, she found out that he is sleeping like a log, so he couldn't hear anything. Anyways, when she is listening to that royalty-free audio, she feels like she wants to exercise too and release some sweat. In the meantime, there are some sweat coming out of her holy canal. Therefore, in the name of health and fitness, she starts her own solo Let's Play. By the way, she is doing that beside him because she is a brave and stunning woman. Well, enough of that crap. She is doing her solo Let's Play while listening to some lo-fi music from next door to feel involved. 
Suddenly, she became very thirsty when doing that. Fortunately, there is a renewable water source on her, so she keeps spawning a lot of free real water. Damn, she could solve water shortage in the desert using this method. You guys can also do that too. Just remember to bring along a woman with you. Make sure that it is biologically correct, or you will be getting protein shake instead. After a while, she has mastered water bending, and she summoned a flood from her holy canal. Suddenly, Ken wakes up and pulls the blanket away. She did not see that coming, although she is coming just now. Oh my. It seems like her secret solo let's play has been exposed. He told her that he is already awake, since their neighbor is playing their multiplayer game loudly. So, this means that he is awake all this time while she is doing her own solo let's play. I guess he does not want to interrupt her solo let's play all this time, so he did not get up and check what's going on. She became very angry and flustered, but she knew that this is her fault for summoning a flood on his bed. Despite that, he is fine with it, and he wants to offer her a helping hand, or should I say some helping fingers instead. She is using all of her brain cells to think about this, and she accepted his offer in the end. So, he starts to help her by appreciating her godly organic homegrown melons. After a while, she felt like the fruit farming is too much for her, so she wants to back down. However, he rejected her, because his 200 IQ Excalibur is already ready for battle. She knew that she couldn't stop the power of the mighty Excalibur, so she just goes with the flow. <laughs> He wants her to clean his Excalibur the climate-friendly way because he likes the environment. Meanwhile, he is also doing the unlimited water glitch using her holy canal. I guess he is very thirsty too. After every crucial preparation is completed, it's time for protein time. He is going to explore her dungeon without using any protective gear because he is a Sigma. He is exploring the crap out of her dungeon like his life depends on it. At this point, they are doing a collab gameplay with the couple next door. Anyways, it seems like this is her first time experience protein time, so she is not used to the pain yet. Therefore, he is also healing her using his Excalibur while exploring her dungeon at the same time. By the way, you guys can heal others too using your Excalibur. I am doing that all the time to my editor. After exploring the dungeon for a while, she can sense that a flood is coming soon. Coincidentally, he is going to use his ultimate move, Protein Blast, soon. He knew that child support and taxes are the bane of society, so he managed to retreat at the last second and use Protein Blast outside the dungeon. I reckon not even Protein Man can escape the wrath of child support. After all of that, she got mad at him for using Protein Blast like that. Damn, I guess that she wants that premium grade fresh organic protein in her instead. Anyways, it seems like both of them are going to share the room for a very long time. Look at the bright side, she can get some free range organic protein, while he can split the rent. So, this is a win-win situation. Wait a minute, I just remembered that she is going to cancel him if he lays his hand on her. However, she is not doing any of that now. As expected, the Excalibur treatment and some fresh organic protein shake can change someone instantly. As I said before in my other videos, I am doing that to my editor all the time for research purposes. Anyways, this is the recap for episode 2. Just as they agreed before, both of them are staying together for now until the landlady find a new room. Despite all of that, he is still worried that she couldn't get used to this lifestyle. However, she seems to be fine and continued her daily life as usual. お、it seems like she does not really care since they will be living together for a week only. After she returned home from work, she found out that he has prepared dinner for her. She is very surprised because he can actually cook some delicious food, 
Wait, I thought she already knew that, since he gave her a lot of creamy nutritious protein shake yesterday. Anyways, he told her that he has to acquire that skill, since he is single. Both of them are chatting with each other, and the atmosphere is very lively. In the meantime, she suddenly realized that she couldn't experience these kind of stuff when she is at home. Well, I feel bad for her, but there is nothing to worry now, since Protein Man is here. After dinner, she suddenly told him that she has a parent-teacher meeting tomorrow. As expected, she requested him to go with her since her parents are always busy and they couldn't make it every time. She wants him to act as her uncle. Fortunately, he understands her situation, so he accepted her request in the end, just as expected of the protein man. He is very reliable too. On the next day, their parent-teacher meeting has gone smoothly, and the teacher does not suspect anything. He is very amazed by her since she already has solid plans for her future. She told him that she needs to be strong and independent since she is a woman in 2023. In addition, she knew that she cannot rely on her parents since they do not even support her. He encouraged her and wished her all the best. After that, he is leading her to the rooftop. Well, this means it is almost time for protein time. He told her that these kind of secluded areas are prime location for protein time. <laughs> She has no answer to his statement, but it seems like he knew that she is very pure and innocent. That definitely pissed her off, although it is a good thing. Suddenly, there are some students passing by, and he got ultra instinct. So, they managed to hide from the sight of those students. Oh shit, not good. After a while, he can feel that his Excalibur is raging for battle now. So, he starts to do some Protein Man stuff on her. She asked him to stop that, but she is not running away or push him away. I guess she is not honest with herself after all. Anyways, he starts to prime the shit out of her Holy Canal so he can get some renewable water resources. She is feeling it now although she is not Mr. Krabs. After that, he told her that it is her turn now and he wants her to clean his Excalibur the climate-friendly way. She has no choice but to follow his order because she likes the environment. You guys should do that too if you want to preserve the environment. I am asking my editor to do the same too. Moving on, she also used her organic melons to create a woman-made dungeon for him to explore. This is her first time making a fruity protein shake, but she is pretty skilled. After the melons appreciation session, she is worried that they are not the only one who come here and they will get caught in 4K. Oi! Suddenly, a teacher called out to them, and that surprised both of them. Luckily, he does not know that the protein man is there, or he will be cancelled for life. She told him that she is playing hide and seek with her friends. The teacher asked her to stop playing around and go home early. In the meantime, the protein man Excalibur is primed and ready for takeoff. So, he immediately 360 no scope her dungeon from behind. She did not see that coming, but she will be coming later. Since they are protected by the pot armor, the teacher does not find out about their protein time and left them alone. She got mad at him for the surprise dungeon exploration. However, there is not much he can do since his Excalibur has made itself home in her dungeon. He assured her that he will be quick. I'm not sure if that is one thing that he should be assuring her about. Anyhow, he felt like he is going to use Protein Blast soon. Since he is not wearing any protective gear when exploring her dungeon, she does not want him to use Protein Blast in her dungeon. He knew that using Protein Blast outside would be a waste, so he wants her to eat all of it. Therefore, he used Protein Blast into her mouth to avoid any food wastage, and she can become even more healthier after consuming them. As the saying goes, a protein a day will keep the doctor away. So, you guys should eat some protein every day. After all of that, his Excalibur is still rising although it is not the shield hero. Thus, they are continuing their protein time, and she is playing Piston Simulator 2023. By the way, that shit got a 10 out of 10 from IGN, 
Anyways, he couldn't use Quick Draw at the last second because she is blocking his escape path, so he used Protein Blast directly into her. Well, her dungeon is in peaceful mode every damn day, so he does not have to worry about child support. No. After the protein time is over, both of them are walking home together. He noticed that she is walking like she just finished her leg day. She told him that the protein shake might flow out. She also told him that she will remember the protein time every time she went to school now. Well, there is nothing bad about that, right? He even made fun of her for being that assertive during the protein time. That made her embarrassed and flustered. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has two episodes. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation in this anime? Is it wholesome? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families for some top 10 Dominic Toretto moments. By the way, the original sauce has 27 chapters. It can be considered as a series at this point. If you wants to read the original sauce, this is the sacred code. Only those who are worthy will know how to use it. So, good luck on your adventure. The numbers. What are they saying?